Welcome to Hevway 101. My name is Corey Freeman and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add social media icons to the header block using PHP and some CSS. Um, so the first thing we need to do is actually grab some icons. So I'm going to go to iconfinder.com. I'm going to look for a couple of social media icons. Iconfinder.com is a great site to get royalty-free icons, or if you don't mind linking, you can get icons that you can just add a link to the author in like the footer or something. Um, but you can browse, they've got a ton of them. Uh, just go through and pick one that you like. So let's pick this one. And as you can see, they're usually part of a set, so we can get a couple. But I'm going to download this Twitter icon. And then I'm going to go ahead and download a Facebook icon. And make sure that you download, when you download your icons, you want to make sure that they are the same size. So that one is 48 by 48. So I want to make sure that I'm not downloading different size icons. OK. Once you've got your icons, go to your WordPress administrative dashboard. Go to Media, Add New, Select, and then we're going to grab our icons. You can upload multiple at once by holding down the um, control button, or if you're using a Mac, the command button. You want to note the file URLs because we're going to need those. Um, but I'm going to copy the Twitter URL. And now what we're going to get, what we're going to do is add some code to a child theme. If you don't have a child theme yet, you can learn how to make one from headway101.com, or you can download the child theme framework schematic. Uh, schematic will basically allow you. Schematic makes it easier to use child themes to make child themes and it won't affect your existing design. Um, and that's what we're going to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to actually go over to my child theme, and I'm opening up the functions.php file. And here where it says headways schematic header, I'm going to go ahead and put in the HTML code for Twitter. So I'm going to do a href equals, and this is the code for a link. I'm going to do twitter.com slash another shoulder so that's my link. I'm going to do target equals, oops, target equals sign underscore blank. So it opens in a new window. And then I'm going to do image source src equals the link to my file. And you can also put in alt text. Um, so in this case, it would be Twitter. And I'm going to hit save. We need to make a new function, but it would just be function whatever you want to name it. I'm going to scroll down here, and since I'm using schematic, I can just enable this. But we're using the hook headway after header link, and then headway schematic header, uh, which is the name of the function we were using up here. So now if I load the site, you can see that our Twitter icon has appeared. Let me scroll down. I'm going to add another one for Facebook. Oops. So ahref equals um, another shoulder. Type in your Facebook link. Target equals. Ah, I keep hitting the delete button and I don't know why. <laughs> image source equals, and then alt would be Facebook. And so that HTML code will add my Facebook link. And as you can see, they'll automatically be side by side. Um, to get them to line up properly, we need to use some CSS. So let's open up the style.css file. You could, also use, you could also use the live CSS editor for this. Um, but since we have no image, I'm just going to do display inline float left. 
uh, width auto. And then I'm going to copy this actually for if I had a header image. And as you can see, schematic sort of has the selector here, but it would be body.custom header span.banner a. Or if you have an image, it would be body.custom header span.banner hyphen image a. And those will float left. And I actually forgot to add a div. So we're going to do div id equals social, or whatever you want to name it. And back in the style, we're going to add a line maybe down here and do social media body.custom div number social float right display inline. And now if we reload, you can see that we've got everything here. Um, the reason that the text freaked out is because that's the tagline. We can just do clear both on the tagline to fix that if you're using text. And that is how you add social media icons to the top. You could actually stick in like the actual Twitter follow and Facebook um, JavaScript code if you wanted to, but this is a simple way to add like a little attractive area to the header. Be sure to check out the link below this video if you're watching on YouTube um, to see the written tutorial with code that you can copy. And as always, make sure to check out headway101.com for more tutorials. My name is Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.